I lived in New York City for 21 years. People say, how can anyone live in New York for 21 years? It's so stressful. They're right. You have to have the right attitude to thrive in New York. My philosophy is sometimes you just gotta stop and smell the whatever the fuck that smell is. <laughs> I like old cities where you have to be outside, where you're not in your car all the time. I, like, I don't like driving cities. I love nights where it's like raining really hard and the wind is swirling around, because every once in a while, you'll just see like a crumpled corpse of an umbrella on the sidewalk. <laughs> you ever see like a mangled, twisted heap of metal? The next time you see one of those, take a moment of respectful silence. <laughs> because every busted umbrella you see represents a truly shit moment in someone's life. <laughs> That is a catastrophically bad day that person was having. Because that's not like a casual experience, right? Like, hey, fellas, look, my umbrella turned inside out. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I'll just delicately place this here and go about my day. Tra-la-la-la-la. It's never that. It's usually somebody like, fuck! <laughs> fuck it, this ends now! <laughs> I can't even get to a garbage can, screw it! There's a trash can roughly every 30 yards in Boston, so when you see an umbrella on the sidewalk, that is someone who simply said, no mas. <laughs> I'm not a religious person, but if there is a hell, I believe it is walking through a city for eternity in a rainstorm carrying a $4 CVS umbrella. <laughs> Forever and ever, amen.